Hey, this is this week's free animation. It's another Mortal Kombat combo. So in this video, I only use Cascader in my workflow, and I'll just quickly go through it and just show you tips here and there, or exactly how to work with uh, video mocap. So here we go. First important part is to get your reference. You know, I recently found Sophia Stunt's videos. Her uh, framing is great with the moves that she does, um, and it picks up very well with the video mocap. So I'll probably use her videos a lot going forward. Um, but yes, if you do get a reference, try to get the full body and the feet, everything. Uh, and also try to get it like straight forward, straight ahead, or straight on the side. I prefer side because uh, it just translates very nice onto uh, Cascade and you can get some, some uh, distance. The reason why I don't use uh, Cascade's video mocap so much is I do feel Dollars Mono is better in that regard. It's also got facial tracking and finger tracking, which Cascade does not have. The finger tracking just makes my characters feel a little bit more alive. But you can use Cascade as well, and it's included in the software as well for free, so you don't have to pay anything extra. So I'll just show you my process here. I'm going to do two versions. One where I unbake, and then one where I do keyframe reduction. But let's see what it looked like. So uh, I, I, I took Sophia stunts as my reference. Here I put her in Da Vinci, and I just uh, take out what I don't need. I try to space it, the animations, or try to space the combos apart. It's just easier for me to uh, animate. So I put in a Da Vinci. Uh, in this case, put it on 30 frames per second. Uh, you can do 60 frames as well. Uh, but I prefer 30 frames per second because it's a little bit less animating. Uh, you can always extend the scene if you want to 60 frames per second is also a possibility. And here's me opening my project. I'm going to use a UE5 model of Quinn. I there import my video. And as soon as the video is there, uh, I then try to make it a, p a perfect size for me where I can work off it easy enough. And I prefer to put it on the side a little bit. I use Cascade's mocap uh, feature. Uh, to do that, you have to click on this mesh object for Casco to, to read that video. And then it starts prepping the scene for you. So I think in this case, it was it said 18 minutes it's going to take. This uh, took me 9 minutes instead of 18, but it depends on, on your computer. So yeah, there it is. Uh, let's play through it quickly. There it is. Doesn't look amazing. Um, but with any video mocap you do, or any... Uh, motion capture you do it does need some attention so my first one I'm going to do unbaking and I'm going to try and fix it up a little bit so to unbake you select your whole interval and you literally just click on uh, unbake and we just give it a moment to finish unbaking and this is what the scene looks like now so as you can see uh, a lot of the keyframes have been removed um, and this is yeah, what animation looks like without the additional keyframes so you'll see it looks smoother the only thing I don't like is it, it doesn't feel human anymore and the way to avoid that is you must just uh, mess with the unbaking settings a bit so I found that if you uh, reduce I found that if you reduce the unbaking settings so instead of uh, interpolation difference 10 make it 5 uh, and if you, do, if you just reduce the, the settings there it does look a lot better the unbaking takes longer but it does look a lot better it looks a bit more more human like this was my go-to uh, before i actually found this whole keyframe reduction so uh, in this yeah this session i'm just gonna or in this part of the video i'm gonna do the, the unbaking cleanup a little bit i just started cleaning up but i kind of i've abandoned it i didn't like the way the animation looked so let's see what the cleanup looks like So yeah, it, it was okay. Um, not amazing, but but okay. It, it's definitely workable. And again, it's a it's a free feature of Cascader, so it's it's great. It's better from doing it from scratch. I might be doing it from scratch. So there it was. Um, I wasn't quite happy the way it looked like, but I didn't want to put in any more time in there. Uh, I'm just, I prefer the keyframe one, and I was curious what that's going to look like. So here's my second attempt, and. Um, here I opened the baked version, so that's with any, without any keyframes removed. Um, and now I'm going to do the keyframe reduction. 
So let's see what that looks like. And then yeah, here's the keyframe reduction part. And then it hears me just cleaning up a little bit. And then this is what the end product looks like. So it still needs a little bit of work. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's not bad for something that's free. And there is, it, it, the more you learn about Cascader, the easier it is to fix these kind of things up. For me, as an amateur animator, I'll do a little bit of a survival guide of stuff you definitely need to know. It's going to make your life so much easier. But yeah, have a great day. See you next week. Bye.